上去吗？好像可以。Great。两个山路最近哈、哦。Okay, he says that if we want to go to the toilet at night, the woods, we we better watch out. Watch out for bears. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. We are 2,600 meters. It says. This, it says Jia Yo, which yeah. means literally means add oil. That's the <laughs> trans correct translation. So. <laughs> but it's like yeah. a like keep going. Like keep you can going. Do yeah, it. Jia Yo. Oh, then cool. in Spanish we have just like vamos. 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 What does that mean? Vamos. Like literally. It's like let's go. Let's but, go. Yeah. Oh right, right, right. Ah, oh, vamos. Vamos. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. No, I have heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason I thought it was like vamos. <laughs> A big difference that I've noticed with like hiking to mountains in Taiwan is that there's no like helicopters that will transport food and supplies up to the cabins so there's only people that carry it on their bag on their back sorry and it's just insane they have like these huge insane backpacks and that guy had a loop like went from the bag around the top of his head to take some of the weight off it's just crazy insane <laughs> and we thank them so much for for carrying that food all that way I didn't know like how high up each of the like cabins were and that kind of thing. So we booked this cabin. It's like it's only 2 p.m. right now. <laughs> and like we booked this cabin and then tomorrow night we're staying at another cabin that's higher up. So it kind of like feels unnecessary to stay here because we've still got so much time. We could definitely just keep on hiking up to the next cabin. So he's just checking now. If they've got space at the next cabin, I feel like they're not gonna be able to have us because you have to book everything so far in advance. Maybe there's been cancellations though, I don't know. It's been really interesting, like planning a hike in Taiwan compared to in Japan. I feel like you need to be so much more prepared and you need to have so much more knowledge about the area or whatever. One thing is for sure though, I'm so glad that Javier is here to help me translate because I would have no hope out here. Nobody speaks English. <laughs> um, what did he say? So he says that we should go ASAP, uh -huh. and also that we can ask for their leftovers. Ah, oh, so awesome! Better. Cool, so, we can get so. the food. We continue, although we have to we have to go quickly. <laughs> nice lunch. Quick lunch. I'm not even gonna cook anything. I'm just gonna eat my snacks. So like, oh, yeah. quick. Yum. <laughs> <High> version. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. right, mango. Mmm. Stripes and fish. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> Oh my god, ah, it's 
it's so much more steep than you think it is. You're just walking along the ridge like, la 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 la, this is fine. <laughs> you zoom out a little bit and you're like, oh, actually, I'd die in a landslide, for sure. <laughs> Excitement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's so true. Wow. Cool. I'm really, really glad you changed up. Milk tea and I think some chow fun. But one thing for sure is that we already, they already finished dinner. Oh, I okay. should be speaking like a little oh. bit lower because everyone is gonna um, sleep soon. Okay. And yeah, they're getting ready to have an early start tomorrow. Oh shit. Yeah. So I was being the typical foreigner that is so loud. <laughs> We're loud everywhere, all around the world. Yeah, not gonna lie, I definitely got a bit sketchy there at the end. Like the sun went down and it got dark so quickly. And oh, I'm glad that we made it back safely though. You can definitely see how dangerous it can get when the sun goes down and that like it's just easier to fall over it's easy to go the wrong way and just completely fall off a cliff i'm really glad that we're we're back safely oh man <laughs> this hiking meal cost me 16 australian dollars so it better be amazing <laughs>
Okay, so this is number two of two videos hiking in Taiwan. I was brought to Taiwan by a Taiwan pitch and they challenged me to make two videos based in the mountains in Taiwan. I'm really thankful that they that they brought me here for this trip, obviously, but specifically for the mountains, because it's not something that I really thought that I would be doing hiking in Taiwan. I never would have really even thought about it, but actually looking into it, there's so much hiking to do in Taiwan. Like considering it's such a small country, it's extremely mountainous and they're very, very high mountains as well. There's over like, I think it's 268 peaks in Taiwan that are over 3000 meters high, which is crazy considering all of Japan only has 21 peaks over 3000. So considering it's such a small country, there's a lot of big mountains fit into there. I mean, Jemenek's not really, it's not a peak, but the hike through there, uh, it's really, really stunning. I think the, the top peak we went to was like 3,500 and something, something like that. We hiked over 25 kilometers in total for this two day trip, which is a lot further than I'm used to hiking <laughs> for, for a normal like overnight hike. Uh, it, like in comparison, Hakusan, which is another hike I did in Japan, that one was only 15 kilometers and I thought I was tired after that one. Ha, huh. this one was very, very tricky. Not tricky, just tough. I think I was just carrying too much in my backpack. Anyway, I'll, I'll get more into that later. How did we do this hike? So the first thing you're gonna wanna know about hiking in Taiwan that I wasn't aware of beforehand, you need to apply for a permit to hike in Taiwan for any of the big mountains, I think, the ones that are based in national parks, which are all of the good ones, of course. And once you apply for the permit, it doesn't mean that you automatically get it, and it means you're entering into like a lottery system. So <laughs> there might be a chance that you won't be able to hike it, which is very interesting. Uh, I mean, I get they're doing it for you know, nature conservation, which I totally understand, but the, the system online, it's all in Chinese, so you're gonna need to put that into Google Translate. It's different for every mountain, but for Jamin Lake, you'll need to apply to like, basically like, book your accommodation on the mountain, but then you also need a mountain permit just to enter the area. Although when we got there, we were kind of able to fill it out on the spot if we needed to, but luckily we already had it prepared beforehand. And you can apply for these permits, I think like two months before you plan to hike. It really depends on the mountain, you're gonna to have to look it up, but the one hurdle, the main hurdle that I see in this that uh, I was really worried about is that you don't know what the weather is going to be like, like in the future. So you just got to cross your fingers and hope that it's good weather. Luckily, we really, really, really got lucky with the weather. It ended up being absolutely stunning. In fact, we, we turned this three day trip into a two day trip just because the weather was so great. We didn't need to stay any longer. I actually applied to hike two different mountains, like a, a backup plan in case the other one fell through. And there was a huge long list of people waiting to hike these mountains. And I really didn't think that I was gonna be successful at either, but I ended up get, getting through both of them, uh, even though I was like number 91 on the, on the waiting list, which is kind of crazy. And Craig Adams as well, he was put on a wait list for Yushan, which is the highest mountain in Taiwan. He didn't think he was gonna be successful, but he was in the end. So I think, you know, if you're planning to hike and you're looking up the permits, don't be too worried. If you think there's a really long list, you might still end up being successful anyway. Anyway, enough about permits. <laughs> Once you've got your permit, uh, you're going to need to rent a car because I'm pretty sure you can't get to this spot with just public transport alone, or maybe you can and it's gonna be very difficult, but I would highly recommend renting a car. But we started the hike at, I think the trailhead is called, I'm gonna pronounce it wrong, Xiang Yang, Xiang, Xiang Yang, Xiang Yang Campground. <laughs> I'm really sorry for my pronunciation. So we started there and then you can hike up to Xiang Yang Cabin. That's where we were going to stay for a night, but then it was kind of early and we still had energy left, so we just kept going to Jammin Lake Cabin instead. Really, really, really beautiful, beautiful hike. There was a big variety of the kinds of nature that you can see on it, and you got to hike along some ridge lines as well. You get views for most of the second half of the trip. Really, really beautiful hike. I can highly recommend this to anyone who's kind of wanting to get off the beaten trap track a little bit and try out a different mountain that isn't as famous as the other ones, but it's also quite challenging. But I think that a lot of that was because my bag was too heavy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the 100 to 400 was just a little bit too much, just kind of pushed it over the edge to where my bag was just ridiculously heavy. I won't be doing that again, unfortunately. Even though the shots I got with it were so beautiful and I'm really glad that I got to get those shots. It was just too much for one person. I also filmed this on my Sony a7S III, the same camera that I used to film pretty much everything on my channel for the past couple of years, and on my f4 16-35mm to Sony lens. I was also carrying the DJI Mavic 3 drone. It's a wonderful drone. The quality is outrageous. It's really, really stunning, but it's just too heavy. Like, oh, my stuff is just too heavy, man. I'm too old. 
I'm too old and weak to be carrying this much stuff in my bag. But anyway, special thanks to Javier. Thank you so much for helping me on this hike. I had some people express concern to me over Instagram saying that I should go hike with someone else in Taiwan because it could be dangerous. I think I would have been fine, but anyway. Um, <laughs> so Javier reached out to me and he said that he can hike with me. Uh, he'd already hiked yeah, Jamming Lake before, so he was really familiar with it. And he speaks Chinese as well, which was so, so, so helpful. I really don't know what I would have done without him and he helped me take photos and everything like that. Really lovely guy, go follow him on Instagram. Um, it really means a lot, thank you so much. And of course, obviously, thank you to Taiwan Pitch for bringing me to Taiwan. I got to see so much in Taipei and I loved all of the food <laughs> and the hiking was absolutely stunning. It's, Taiwan is a lovely country, the people are so kind. The city's really vibrant and colorful. I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So thank you so much, Taiwan Pitch, for bringing me to Taiwan. And that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. And if you like it, like it. It, subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>